So my new project will be converting my motorcycle to electric. My package just came in, which is my hub motor, my handles, and my motor controller. I'm going to open them up so that you guys could see what I received. Alright, we'll put this off to the side. I'm going to open this. So I got an 8 kilowatt motor. 8 kilowatt hub motor, and I'll be running a 96 volt setup on my motorcycle. And the motorcycle that I'll be using for this conversion is a Suzuki GS500. So, this is the first time I'm actually opening this. I haven't even seen it yet. Wow. This is packaged in here extremely well. Holy cow. I don't know if I can. Jeez. This came, I bought this from QS Motors, and they did, they gave me this, a really nice package deal, like a combo deal with everything. So, it actually came in within less than a week, which was quite exciting. Uh, my batteries for my motorcycle I'll be using our LG Chem batteries and those should hopefully be coming in I would say in a couple days or so. I was just waiting on all the components before I actually start this build. Wow. That is beautiful. Holy cow. Now that's a hub motor. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you got your cable coming out, your shaft, um, and they sell specific sizes for the rear wheel that you have for the specific motorcycle you own. And I pretty much emailed them up, gave me, gave them the specific specs that I'm using, and they ended up telling me what I needed, and I ended up going with an 8 kilowatt motor. So that's kind of what it looks like. Super, super nice. Can't wait to put that on. Um, but yeah, that's the rim. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. Actually, let's put this on here like that. We'll open up the uh, motor controller and the motor, co motor controller that I'm actually using for this build is another one they recommended which was the APT 96600 I believe. So it's not too big. Really really nice. Nicely packaged. These are the phases that, oh. actually I'll just take this out, wow, that is heavy. So this is the motor controller, you'll be plugging your motor wires in these terminals, You've got some hookups for your the specific wires that they give you, and then where you'll be uh, mounting your, or installing your battery wires. So, very nice, very heavy. Um, so, first build I've ever done that's an EV conversion, so this will be exciting. I'll do a step, I'll put up updated videos every so often, so we'll see how this build works out. Um, so this last small box that I'm opening up are the uh, handles. So I'll also have regenerative braking with this motorcycle. Oh, I got some cables. That's probably one handle. I don't know what this this all is. So let's kind of find out together. Oh, 
This is a cable that you would uh, plug into your motor controller on one of the sides that I was showing you. So just put that away. Uh, got some hardware. So since the motor hub, the shaft, is actually, it, do, it doesn't get removed, you actually have to cut into your swing arm, your rear swing arm, and they give you hardware to be able to bolt this on, because you're going to have to cut into your rear swing arm to be able to slide this in, and then make additional holes to make sure that the motor hub is actually attached to your swing arm without it coming off. So, that's going to be extremely useful. And then I believe this last part here are just the handles that came along with it. Ooh, these are some really nice, we have a nice key entry here as well. Um, got your keys in here, handles. They're actually quite smaller than I thought, but Hopefully they'll fit. Um, they also have a digital uh, meter here telling you how fast you're going, so that'll be really nice. But yeah, uh, pretty nice, um, really nice equipment. I'm excited to start this project, and that's pretty much all I have for the unboxing video. If you guys have any questions on what I'm doing with my setup, just please feel free to just comment below and. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, I'll see you in the next video.